Myandasht Wildlife Refuge is one of the cheetah habitats in northeastern Iran. Uh, not close, but the nearest one to Turkmenistan border in northeast. Uh, this is the only habitat in Iran where the cheetahs live in plains. Actually, not flat plains. The, cheet the plains have some, you know, you have seen here. There are lots of hilly areas, so the cheetahs can hide there among them. And we established a cheetah breeding or actually a, a cheetah breeding program here which was uh, for the first phase a male cheetah which was confiscated from poachers uh, was brought here and there is a big enclosure some 200 hectares fenced and there has a few phases for the chief for the male cheetah and for the preys to you know to reproduce and also we plan that if there is any ch animal a female animal a female cheetah can be confiscated from poachers or ca captured in the wild it can be brought here to, in the, to actually to launch a breeding program for the cheetahs because sometimes we have seen that some areas there is a good population of prey and there is a good security but the population of the cheetahs are not so high expected to what we have seen for the actually for the prey so this is what we plan to do to you know to introduce some cheetahs into its former areas or even help to the other countries in asia as you know the asia in asia western and uh, southern countries they have they had once cheetahs like india like arabia like turkmenistan and so on but actually at the moment there is no cheetah confirmed in those countries so one of the main purposes of this project could be to re-establish the population of the Asiatic cheetah across its historical range. The other purpose of this cheetah project is to do research and to do, to do, to do educate local people and even students, for experts and foreign people who have no perception about the cheetahs. The cheetah was until recently an unknown species in this country and most of the data came from African studies which sometimes cannot be applied so this is one of the most important purposes of this project just to show the cheetah how to you know how how to study the animal how to and also train local people uh, Kushki is a male cheetah it's around three years old uh, nearly adult an anim adult animal it was confiscated from an area between here and Turan National Park uh, the animal is uh, feed uh, the animal is fed daily by um, two kilo kilograms of uh, meat and sometimes wild rabbits are captured from the wild here which is a good habitat for them and it's released into the Kushki's enclosure so the animals try to be still trained and skilled in hunting because maybe it's in some time it can it can be you know back to the wild or even it's you know cops so we need to keep the animal in its uh, uh, it, it good fi fitness for you know living in the wild and also it motivate the animal to just Uh, regarding crossbreeding the cheetahs in Iran and mm -hmm. Africa, uh, personally, I think that it's not a solution to actually solve the low diversity which was reported for the cheetahs. Uh, what we have in Iran is an isolated population which has been a result of so many years of evolution. So we need to conserve it as the natural you know, process has done so far. So and. It has been proved to be distinct from the cheetahs in Africa or if if it's not distinct also we have a cheetah which is which seems to be smaller which is in a different condi habitat conditions so I think that we need to conserve it as a pure population so personally I never recommend to do to do crossbreed between populations here and Africa Uh, the next step for Kushki is uh, actually to um, to complete the breeding program for the cheetahs in this area. 
and in Mion Dash, <laughs> and it's breeding center in for the Kushki. And it needs an adult female to be here, and they can mate. And it's very difficult for the cheetahs to, to reprodu reproduce in our captivity or semi-captivity condition, which is like here. But I think that if we can be able to bring one female from one of the good habitats of the cheetah, where there is no damage to the source population, it can be a success to have it, you know, some lit, some some uh, cops, and they can be trained, which is so important, and released back into the wild or in Iran or other countries. I think that this is our mission to recolonize the cheetahs in Asia, not only in Iran. We have been successful for 10 years in our country, and we think that maybe after some years, we can even help the other countries in other Asian con uh, in, in, in other Asia. We can even help the other countries in Asia, in Western and Southern Asia, where it was once across the historical range of the cheetah to reestablish their population by sending some cheetahs from the captive, actually the, this semi-captive program.